Why'd you highlight the ad for the car rental place? Because there aren't a lot of listings for filmmakers or fired teachers. James, you should call the car rental place. Huh? Forget it. The job's already been filled. Besides, James isn't interested in finding a job. He's only got one thing on his mind. Star. I'm not thinking about Star. That's over. I've moved on. Mm-hmm. What's this, then? Hmm. The bullet that almost killed me, and it reminds me that I'm a survivor. Langston's right, dude. Now that you lost that study grant, you need to be looking for a job. Yeah? Maybe not. Because Michelle found out that I can ask for a hearing to challenge the administration's decision to pull my grant. So Wait. there you go. Michelle, which one's that again? Oh, that's the girl he's dating. <laughs> so, how serious are you guys? Hmm? Me and Michelle are no big deal. Oh, but you're going together to her sorority's Valentine's Day party. Oh. How did you know that? I was at the gym when she asked you. Well, she's in charge of it and she needed a date, so... Hmm. Hey, Langston. I thought you were helping me look for a job. So you're not serious about her then, hmm? Oh, look, Rhodey's is hiring. I'm gonna go talk to the manager and see if they're hiring. Okay, good luck. Thanks. Hey, I got a message. What's going on? Well, I want to see Marty. Did you tell your dad? Well, I'm just saying. He was wrong. I should have never have kept that restraining order. Yeah, well, it's not your fault that Marty lost her memory. Well, th that's the thing. Um, actually, I, I brought Hope to see Marty. And when she saw her, um, it sort of helped her remember. Well, that's good. Yeah. What? Well, s seeing Marty with Hope, it just, uh... It made me realize that... I'm not the only person Colt has. You know, he, he has his mom when she gets better, and even if she doesn't, he has his daughter. And when he gets out of, of prison, you know, he'll have a relationship with her, and I'll make sure of that. Where are you going with this? I'm starting to wonder if maybe Cole was right. Maybe I shouldn't put my life on hold for 10 years. Sir, are you saying you're gonna break up with Cole? Oh, never mind. No. Hold on, start. Wait. Hey, Michelle. I uh, thought I wasn't seeing you until later. Is it okay? I needed to talk to you. Yeah, it's fine. Come on in. It's over. You know what? I feel sorry for you. Oh, I love him. Okay, no, I, I know that, but that doesn't mean you have to sacrifice your entire life for him. Isn't that completely selfish of me? I, if he were in the army, I, I would wait for him then, right? Okay, but usually soldiers aren't gone for 10 years. And besides, he's not in the army. He's in prison for shooting a man. Sir, look, I, I know that he wasn't thinking and he was just in this rage because he thought that you and Hope were dead, but... None of that would have happened if he had put his faith in you instead of some crazy girl. And that happened for a reason. I mean, truth is, you and Cole were almost broken up before that happened. Prison for a long time, remember? It sucks. Right, so at least if you're happy, you can help her get through that. And if you get into a relationship with someone, you'll have someone there that can help you take her to school and to her soccer practices and concerts, whatever she needs. You're right. Yeah, and people split up all the time, not just because of jail. Look at your parents. And they're better off, and you'll be better off too. I mean, come on, you're crazy about Taya and Danny. So try thinking about this as a good thing and stop beating yourself up just because you have feelings for James. You're right, I do like him. Not that I really know where it's going. <laughs> well, you're never gonna find out if you don't give it a shot. You're right. I'm going to go see Cole today. I'm going to tell him good news about his mom. And then I'm going to tell him that I'm going to start seeing James. Wait for Cole, there's no guarantee that we would make it. I mean, that's 10 years. I've graduated college. I've got my PhD. You're both going to change. It's OK. 
So I have to be honest with them, right? I mean, I want to be fair. Right. So, when are you going to Statesville? Now. Okay. I'm coming with you. You will? <laughs> you have to ask. Come on. Okay. <laughs> it's the right thing to do. And James has moved on. Well, he's trying, but it's not happening. He's with Michelle. Oh, come on. They're just friends. He told me so himself this morning. Really? Yeah. So, he's all yours. If you want him. It's because of Star, isn't it? I know you both said there's nothing going on, but I've seen the way you look at each other. I care about her. She's sticking it out with Cole, and I'm not going to be the other guy in that relationship. So? So? That wasn't a mistake. Did you get the job? Uh, no, they said that they were all set for staff, but they think that Pirelli's is hiring. Oh, I love their lasagna. So, keep your fingers crossed, because I'm running over there right now. Mm -hmm. And I promise you, I'm going to be hired by tonight. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can nail this little bitch. Things are going well with you and Ford. Really? Yeah. Seems like he's really trying. Yeah, well, things will work out for you too. <sighs> yeah, I just gotta get through this afternoon. Hey, it'll be okay. Cole doesn't want you to suffer. No. And things will be much better. You won't be hiding anything from him. You'll be friends. I hope so. And then you can tell James that you're ready to start a relationship with him. Now that I can look forward to.